Explaining how the new computer-generated certificates work, Registrar General Raymond Cummings said that the QR code affixed to the certificates could be read by a special app, which can be downloaded by any smartphone. Persons will then use that app to scan the code, which allows you to see certain special characteristics, which persons who need certificates to be used in the identification and authentication of individuals doing business with them will have access to. In addition to that, the certificates will have uh, an indelible ink, uh, this is a, an invisible ink markings on it, which enhances the security and that too will the persons who will need these certificates to be used um, as a form of identification and authentication of persons doing business with them will have the information on what is what it is they are to look for. That information will be only read under a special light which they'll have the information on how to access it and what to look for. There are other security features which um, we will not disclose at this time, but the persons who use the certificates, as, as I said earlier, will be given that information. The Registrar General also said that the traditional birth, debt and marriage certificates are still valid and he will continue to engage various agencies to ensure they are accepted. I know that persons will be concerned immediately about what happens to those certificates that are handwritten that they um, have in their possession and for persons who have applied for certificates over the last couple of months will know that it took a, a little extra time for them to get it and because we have deliberately delayed unless persons needed certificates for emergency purposes the issuing of those certificates to allow them to have this computer generated certificate what will happen i would guess as happens with any of these sorts of documents it will take some time before everyone is allowed to or is required to have the computer generated certificates so i guess agencies will still take the handwritten uh, certificates i urge them not to discard them not to discard them but to keep using them until that time when um when they will no longer be accepted, which I would average, we are hoping that we'll have that generated within the next year, year, year and a half. Persons registering now for birth or marriage certificates or those seeking to obtain death certificates will receive the new computer-generated document. Those who have already applied through the Guyana Post Office need not reapply. Cummings said that there are other security features which can be provided upon request via email at groguyana at gmail.com or on WhatsApp on telephone number 610-9394. Once a request is made and the verification process is successful, the hidden codes would be released. Reporting for the newsroom, Shakima Day.